Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody, coast to coast, This Week in America. Friends of the Enchanted Forest, How They Save Christmas by Glenda Crenshaw is an inspiring, engaging children's story addressing good versus evil, love, friendship, caring, and kindness. Five friends live in the Enchanted Forest, a raccoon, monkey, fox, skunk, porcupine, along with a wise old owl. They have special powers and must save Christmas from a beautiful mean witch. Glenda was raised in a rural area in Texas, inspired by the woods, always loved Disney and Looney Tunes, has a great imagination. Also the author of three other books. The book we're talking about in the program today is Friends of the Enchanted Forest, How They Save Christmas, and the author, Glenda Crenshaw, our guest on This Week in America. Glenda, welcome to the program. It's great to have you with us today. It's great to be here. I love what the, you you have done in the book, the whole Friends of the uh, the Enchanted Forest series. This one in particular, How They Save Christmas. I, I love the message. I love how you present it. Talk about the inspiration for you to begin writing Friends of the Enchanted Forest. The inspiration came one day. I was just sitting here, and I had just watched a Disney movie. And Disney is what inspired me the most. I've always loved Disney, and I've always had a big imagination. So I said, I can write one just as good as Disney. <laughs> and I sat down, and it just started flowing. Well, you can write as well as we've seen in, in, with Disney. I mean, this is a, a remarkable story you're telling. It has all the elements that we'll talk about during the course of the conversation why did you start with, with Christmas? What was the the motive behind starting with Christmas? I started with Christmas because, face it, almost every kid in the world loves Christmas. Yes. Even, even adults love Christmas. I was going to say adults as well. So me and my family are big on Christmas. My daughter is and I am especially. So that's what inspired me. The Disney really inspired me to do this book. Well, it was a great inspiration, and you carry off the story so well. The book is Friends of the Enchanted Forest, How They Save Christmas. You'll find the book at, at pageturner.us, other places, and I'll give you all that information here in a second. In the story, central to the story, is a wicked, beautiful witch. Talk about how you came up with that character. Well, like in Disney, there are always princesses and witches. So I thought, well, I'm going to put a beautiful witch in because I knew later she would be inspiring to the Enchanted Forest. Well, that was a good call because that's a, an important element of the story, Friends of the Forest, How They Save Christmas. You put in five animals, five very different animals. How did you come up with, with that number in giving them powers and, and making them different from each other? Well, I just started thinking I live out here in the country and I have raccoons. I don't, and other animals. So I just put small animals in. The biggest animal in my books are a cow, and I, that's how I came up with it. You know, I mentioned you grew up in a, a rural area in Texas inspired by the woods. Obviously, that's an important part of, of who you are in your writing is that fascination with the outdoors, animals, and the woods, isn't it? Yes, it is. I've lived 36 years in the woods. And it has been very quiet, peaceful. It allows me to think because I write all the time. Well, it's so. interesting. You probably didn't know as a child that this was research for you, growing up with the animals and, you, and your thoughts and watching them and now telling stories about the, uh, the Enchanted Forest. The Friends of the Enchanted Forest is the book, How They Save Christmas. Glenda Crenshaw is the author. That's C-R-E-N-S-H-A-W. 
Book available at all Amazon sites at Barnes & Noble, Page Turner's Bookstore, Chapters Indigo in Canada, Waterstones in the UK, Booktopia in Australia, New Zealand, and a lot more. You'll find the book, uh, all this information, of course, on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. I mentioned all the animals and how you develop those. Talk about the special powers, because these are not just animals you look outside and see. Well, maybe as we look out, sometimes they have magical powers. We just don't know it. But these animals have uh, special powers. Why did you give them special powers? Because I grew up with the special powers, and they never knew that they had them until they had to go on this trip. You know, and that's interesting because some of us don't realize maybe we have maybe not necessarily special powers, but something within that we don't understand uh, realizes there until we're, it's called upon and we, and we have to do that, which is uh, the case with the animals in, in your story. With all of the, the animals we just talked about, do you have a favorite? Is there a character in the, in the book that you really like best? I have no favorites because they're all individuals and they're all different. And they but, are. But when, when you add it together, it's working together that ha lets them overcome any obstacle. And let's talk about developing. Yeah, go ahead, finish that thought. I'm sorry. But if I did have to choose one, I would probably choose the wise old owl, Pantagoras. Ah, okay. That was one of my favorites, too, that uh, uh, you can't go wrong with a wise old owl, can you? That uh, That's something that, that had to be fun. Well, how much fun was it to write these characters, to develop these characters, and make them all uh, personal, give them all personalities? How much fun was that? It was loads of fun. I really enjoyed every minute of it, and I still do. How long did it take you to write Friends of the Enchanted Forest, How They Save Christmas? half a day oh okay so when those ideas come to you you're ready to go you carry a, a pen around with you so you're ready to write down those ideas Boy, this this idea just sort of flowed to you didn't it it's like a movie in my head that yes in fact it, it's very I, visual it, it's all right yeah, the story is very visual and, and illustrated by Dan Cooper, this particular Friends of the Enchanted Forest. Talk about the illustrations and how important that is to, to properly telling the story. So as we're looking at the, the pages, we understand the message you're trying to get across. Talk about the illustrations of, of the book. Well, the illustrations are very important, I think, to each kid because they like to look at the illustrations. Yes. And when they can see what is happening, it is more personal to them, and they get more knowledge from it, I believe. Yeah, it sort of complements what you're trying to say during the text, in the text of the book. With us on the program is Glenda Crenshaw. She is the author of Friends of the Enchanted Forest, How They Save Christmas. Just a little background I gave at the beginning. Who, who is the real Glenda Crenshaw? Who, give us a little bit of background uh, on you. Well, I was born in Brownwood, Texas. But I lived in Corsicana in an orphanage-like atmosphere. It was called the IOOF, Independent Order of Bob Phillips and Rebecca's. And that, and yeah, that obviously had a big up, impact on you, didn't it? It did. It had a big impact. I, I went in at three, and I left at 17. And... All those years, I could not wait till 6 o'clock came on Sunday for the wonderful world of Disney. Ah, remember those times, yes. It brought us all together, and we all sit down, and we couldn't wait. Yep, now was we that... really had fun with it. Was that the one with Walt Disney? We'd come on at the beginning and sort of establish what we were going to see that evening? Yes. Yep, I remember that uh, Remember that well. I don't know if those were in reruns anywhere, but they should be. Probably in the Disney Channel. You can find uh, find some of those. The 
The book we're talking about is Friends of the Enchanted Forest, How They Save Christmas. It has that Disney feel. Glenda Crenshaw greatly influenced a, a fan of Disney and motivated by Disney to, to write this series of books. Why did you bring in William? I brought in William for Willow because she needed another human to talk to. And I knew that he would play a very important part in the Enchanted Forest. And does in the in the series of books. So it's interesting the the introduction of characters. What is the, what is the purpose in writing Friends of the Enchanted Forest? It's a delightful story, well told. But uh, what do you hope the takeaway is from uh, from the reader, from the from the young people, as well as adults that are uh, having the book read to them or reading the book to their child? It gives them basic morals to go by and to help them understand. I think better that if you work together, you can accomplish anything. And and really, it's very important to do that with the with kids and be able to have to, to understand better and to know how it all works. Yes, and to tell it in an entertaining way, and you do that. You have that ability to do that in in your books. Will there be more books of the the Friends of the Enchanted Forest? You bet there will be. <laughs> Very good. Four. I have four that's already ready. They just need to be published. Well, and if you go to, and I'll give you the websites uh, for the books in, in, here in a second, but if you go uh, to Amazon, for example, and you click on the, the author link, uh, Glenda Crenshaw, you get all of the books in the series that are now available. And uh, it would be checking that from time to time because you'll be able to get uh, to get more stories there. So it sounds like you've got plenty of stories. You just need to uh, to have the time to write them and to, to get them published then. Right. What has this been like? Just, yeah, finish. Yeah, I was going to say finish I, that thought. It's it, it's so important, and you do such a such a nice job with this. Well, I appreciate it. It just all comes real easy to me. Like I said, it just rolls in my head like a movie. So I am there watching it all, like a movie. Well, and you tell it like a movie. It's a, it's a very visual story, and with the illustrations, it just enhances that. What has this been like for you in, in writing these stories, growing up as a Disney fan, inspired by Disney, motivated by Disney, and now you're writing Disney-like stories? How much fun is this for you? It's loads of fun. I enjoy it immensely. It gives me lots of pleasure. And it gives me pleasure to know that I make kids happy by reading them, by them reading it. Yeah, and this is the perfect book that uh, a child can read, possibly, can read it to an adult, can read it to themselves. A child can uh, uh, can have the book read to them. It's just a perfect uh, story. In fact, if an adult and child are sharing the story, there's, there's plenty to talk about, the different uh, emotions and, and topics and areas that uh, come up in the book. What is the general age group that you write this for? I mean, people are of all ages are liking the story, but what is the sort of the target audience for Friends of the Enchanted Forest? I believe anywhere from four to ten. I'll it up really. It's good for all ages, but mostly for four to ten, I would say, because these characters are preteens. And it gives us a whole different look when we see animals. We understand, okay, animals have personality. Uh, we, we remember the stories that we've read in, in Friends of the Enchanted Forest, this book in the series, How They Save Christmas. I'll give you all that information, a couple minutes left in the program, and I'll give you all that information before we, uh, before we wrap up here. What is the reaction in your family of sharing these stories with, with children and grandchildren? What's... What's it like because you're a published author that's uh, entertaining families all around the world now, quite literally? 
it's truly a blessing for me to be able to share it with my kids and grandkids and great grandkids. And kids all over the world as well, aren't they? I mean, it has to be, uh, uh, it, it does have, have to be gratifying to know that these uh, stories that uh, that you've created, created in the mind of, of Glenda Crenshaw, now entertaining people all around the world, it has to be quite rewarding. It makes me very happy to see the kids happy after reading it or they want more. And it's, it's just very gratifying. Well, just keep up the good work. Just keep the stories coming. And it sounds like there's not a shortage of those. It's just being able to, uh, to write them down and to, and to get them published. This book, Friends of the Enchanted Forest, How They Save Christmas by Glenda Crenshaw, C-R-E-N-S-H-A-W, available at all the Amazon sites, Barnes & Noble, Page Turner's Bookstore, Chapters Indigo in Canada, Waterstones in the UK, Booktopia in Australia and New Zealand, and a lot more. Again, it's worldwide. If you click on information on the author, you'll get information on the other books in the series that uh, that Glenda has written, and all those links on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. I mentioned pageturner.us, a great place to get the book. You've been working with this, uh, with Page Turner on this project. What's it been like working with Page Turner in taking Friends of the Enchanted Forest out to uh, children and adults all around the world? It has been a true blessing to me. To, for Paige Turner to call me up and want to do this. And they have really shown me that they really care. They put a lot of thought and, and action into what their words. And without them, I probably would still be just sitting here wondering what I could do to... So I'm very grateful for them. Well, because of them, you've been able to get the books published, get them out, entertain, and uh, enlighten so many children, again, all across the world. The book is Friends of the Enchanted Forest, this particular version, How They Save Christmas. Glenda Crenshaw is the author and our guest, C-R-E-N-S-H-A-W. Glenda, it's been a pleasure having you on the program. Plenty more books coming out. Hopefully we'll have a chance to talk about those as well. Thank you for being with us on the program today. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. It has been fun. It's Glenda Crenshaw. The book is Friends of the Enchanted Forest, How They Save Christmas, pageturner.us, a great place to go. Of course, all the information on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. We're back on today's program right after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.